in, in response to the question that I received uh, from uh, you regarding uh, the uh, PBS series where Henry Louis Gates uh, made the uh, statement that uh, there were Sierra Leonean blacks who were engaged in the slave trade and that some of them profited from it. Um, I, I have a very interesting um, uh, take on uh, Gates's quest uh, to discover uh, Africans who participated in the slave trade. And, and I guess the, uh, the take that I have on it is that uh, it, it seems to me a bit of folly and also, not only folly, but uh, Henry Gates is fundamentally wrong on uh, this attempt uh, to remove the guilt from the European slavers uh, and place it on Africans. And uh, this is why he's wrong. In the first place, Africans did not initiate the European slave trade. Uh, the slave trade was initiated uh, by European nations. The northern and western uh, European nations uh, were engaged in this uh, business. And secondly, uh, and to call it a business is, you know, is uh, uh, also uh, a, a euphemism because, in fact, uh, our trade, it was, um, it was as Maulana Karinga often says, a great monstrosity. But uh, the second point is that no African society that I'm aware of with well, maybe the exception of one, an aberration, Dahomey, which is an aberration uh, brought about by uh, Portuguese uh, uh, enslavers. But uh, I'll get back, that, get back to that in a minute. But there was no African society where slavery was the principal mode of production, with uh, maybe that one exception, as I can uh, think about it in terms of my own work in the history of Africa, which I... I'm writing the second edition now. Uh, and the next point is that basically, uh, before the coming of the Arabs and the coming of the Europeans, there, there are no evidences of uh, any kind of s slavery uh, in Africa. So uh, that tells you a couple of things, that the philosophical system of most African societies, which were based around uh, clans, and uh, families uh, did not have categories uh, in them uh, for uh, people to be uh, slaves, and particularly no such thing as chattel, because the notion of chattel slavery uh, was unknown uh, uh, to uh, the African world. Uh, and then I think that the, uh, the other point about Gates' uh, position is that somehow profit was made by these uh, Africans uh, and Sierra Leone, uh, who were engaged in the slave trade. Uh, my only uh, point is that uh, this must have been um, uh, something uh, so minuscule that it should not even be mentioned in regards to the fact that the enslavement of Africans fueled uh, the industrialization of Europe and gave Europe its advantage uh, materially and also economically and politically and militarily uh, in the world for the last 500 years. So uh, whatever example you can find from one Sierra Leonean family or the family of the D'Souza's in uh, Dahomey, uh, these, these are real uh, aberrations. Uh, for the most part, uh, you did have uh, uh, situations where we could say that there were some Africans who were collaborators with the Europeans. But these collaborators with the Europeans can never be considered uh, uh, the uh, profiteers uh, of uh, slavery in the same way uh, that Europeans profited uh, in this monstrosity. In fact, um, you have collaborators uh, with European uh, oppressors in many uh, places and societies. I mean, there were black police during the apartheid era in South Africa, but you don't blame apartheid on the uh, black police uh, in South Africa, and you wouldn't blame uh, the Jews who uh, collaborated with the Nazis uh, for Nazism and for uh, the incredible horror of the Holocaust. I mean, you don't uh, blame uh, collaborators 
uh, for initiating acts of, uh, uh, of terror and, and acts of un, uh, ungodly um, uh, horror uh, in the world. So to blame the Africans, whether they were Sierra, in Sierra Leone or whether they were in Dahomey, uh, and say that these Africans uh, somehow uh, profited, uh, yes, collaborators do profit some, from time to time, but, um, I mean, even in our own society, you have collaborators with people who oppress African people, and they profit a lot. I mean, so I don't think that Gates is uh, correct, and I think that uh, what his uh, quest does is to try to drive a wedge between uh, Africans on the continent and Africans in the diaspora. And this is unfortunate because, after all, uh, the circumstances on the continent, uh, the colonization of African uh, people and uh, African societies, uh, th this was just as bad, in some cases maybe even worse, uh, than the enslavement of Africans uh, in the diaspora. So uh, I, 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 re I, 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 I'm personally stunned and shocked and astonished uh, by the wrong-headed uh, notion of the quest of Henry Louis Gates to try to discover somewhere uh, Africans who were uh, equally culpable uh, with the Europeans or with the Arabs who enslaved African people.